What is up Kratics? Welcome back to the Crew Motor Fest. In this video I'm going to be showing you guys the best ways to make money in this game. But firstly, let's start off with setup. This is very important. Firstly, you want to press start and then go to activities and make sure you have at least three playlists completed. If you don't, make sure you do at least three first. Once you have those complete, then you're going to press start, go to profile and then go to legend points. And you can see here we have different bonuses you get in events based on the legend points you apply to them. The two most important ones are definitely Rich, which gives you a 1% bonus in money per legend point up to 20%. You can see I have 15 on Rich, so that's 15% extra money on events. And then the second one is Legend, which gives you a percentage XP boost. And you'll see why that's important in a second here. So, how do you get the legend points? Well, the best and quickest way to get these is from the main stage. So you want to go to activities again, select main stage at the top, and then you'll see three events here. And you want to select triangle for PlayStation or Y for Xbox, and it will show you the rewards you get for getting to a certain XP. However, there are three different types of XP in this game. We have the blue XP, the green XP, and the yellow XP. The most important one here is definitely that green XP so that you can get those legend points from the main stage. You can earn green XP from doing side activities under the challenges section and from doing free mode events such as speed traps, slaloms, etc. You will not get green XP from just doing normal playlist races or online races. It is only from side activities and of course the free mode events. So the first thing I recommend is grinding that green XP so you can get those legend points for those bonuses. And by far the easiest way right now is by repeating speed traps over and over with a built-in feature in the game. So the first thing you're going to want to do is press start, go to profile, then legend points, and if you have any, go ahead and set them all to legend. Again, this is only if you're grinding the green XP to get those legend points from the main stage. From there, you're going to go to Options, then Difficulty, then Rewind, and make sure that the setting is set to On. Then you want to go to Accessibility, then the Motor section, and make sure Convert Holds to Presses is set to On. What this is going to do is actually make the Rewind start right away instead of delaying to make sure that you want to confirm that you want to rewind. But anyways, then you're going to select any quick car that you own, doesn't matter which one, and go to your upgrades and select any parts that have the XP bonus perk. Plus you can also affix some of them to get that perk on them if you don't have them there already, but this part isn't really all that necessary, but it does help. Then you're gonna open your map and go to any of the red speed trap icons that have the little wheel doing a burnout and you're gonna fast travel there. If you can't fast travel there, just go to one of the playlist start locations close by if it allows you to fast travel and then go there afterwards. Again, it doesn't really matter which speed trap. However, there is one that you definitely want to avoid and that's the one at the airport because it only gives you a 40 to 50 green XP versus the 400 plus that the other ones give you. But anyways, once you're at the speed trap of your choice, then you're going to back up and get some decent distance and then of course complete the speed trap with the required speed. Now of course after you complete these speed traps it gives you a reward screen that shows you all the stuff you earned. The idea here is you want to skip that. So to skip it you can actually see it shows you here it is circle for PlayStation or B for Xbox and you're going to skip and then as soon as you do that you want to rewind so that you're right behind the speed trap again. Complete the speed trap, skip, rewind, just do it over and over again it's that simple. Now there is a little bit of timing involved but the only timing really is when you rewind. You don't want to rewind too early because it's going to make you restart the event uh, further away at a complete stop, just not efficient at all. So the proper timing, what you want to do is as soon as you hit the speed trap, you want to wait till it shows your actual speed at the very top. As soon as you see that, then you can press the skip button. And then right afterwards, you can go ahead and hold rewind, which is triangle for PlayStation or Y for Xbox right behind the speed trap, complete it, skip, 
rewind, skip, rewind. It's, it's that simple. So you just do this over and over again and you'll be getting over 400 XP and $750 roughly every 3 to 4 seconds depending on how quick you are. That means you can do this roughly 15 to 17 times per minute, which is over 6,000 green XP and over $13,000 every minute, which is insane. So let's say you do this for 30 minutes, that's over 180,000 green XP and over $400,000, which is insanely good money. Now let's say you max out all the bucks bonuses from the icon points and parts you can easily earn about a million dollars an hour doing this, which is insane. And obviously while you're doing this, remember to periodically check on the main stage and claim your rewards, legend points, etc. if that's what you're grinding for, and then set them to either rich or legend depending on what you're grinding for at that moment. Now, this method is probably not intentional and it's most likely gonna be patched or nerfed eventually, so I highly recommend taking advantage of it now while you can. Now, alternatively for money making, just in case this is patched, the second best method out there is the combi race. So you want to go to your activity section and you're going to go to the playlist and you're going to want to find the Hawaii Scenic Tour playlist and make sure you've completed it first if you haven't already. Then you're going to select the wonders race with the combi in it. You can see it in a little thumbnail there. Again, you need to complete this race with the combi first if you haven't already. But anyways, then go ahead and open your map and fast travel there. If you can't fast travel there, just fast travel to the Motorfest Karmi instead, which is right next to it. Then once you're there, you're going to go ahead and open the menu for it. Then go into the event settings and put it on custom. Then you're going to turn on the clean driving modifier for an extra money bonus. Then you're going to select the difficulty options you're comfortable with and optionally you can invite a friend in your crew to do it with which will give you even more of a money bonus. And then lastly here the most important part you're going to go to the top right and select your vehicle. Obviously I recommend picking your fastest car. If you have an Alpha GP car that would actually be the quickest because of all the corners and stuff. If not you can use a lower class car like hypercar or street tier etc racing and obviously you can buy an alpha gp car later on once you have enough money to acquire one which will allow you to do this more efficiently but anyways once you select your car then you can go ahead and start it and you're going to notice that your clean driving bonus is on the right which is the extra money you'll get on top of the race payout once you complete the race you'll see your payout which would be between 40 to 50 thousand depending on your bucks bonus perks in only four to five minutes so that means you can earn over 500,000 an hour, which is very good money. Now, let's say you want to do something a bit more chill and less of a grind. I highly recommend doing the online PvP grand races. Now, before you say, oh my god, I hate racing against online people, they're such tryhards, they're so competitive, hear me out for a second. These take only about 7 to 8 minutes and give you a minimum of 40,000. Even if you don't complete the race, you can literally sit there doing a donut. You don't even, you don't even have to do anything, and it's going to give you a minimum of 40,000. So you can literally sit there driving like grandma, not even finish the race, and you're still going to get again over 40,000. You can see I did just that here. I drove around like at 40, 50 miles an hour, a little speed here and there, and I got 18th place again driving like grandma. Didn't even finish the race, and I still got over 40,000. Now obviously there's an incentive to try, if not everyone would just sit there and not even try to win the race, right? So there is a money bonus the higher the position you place. So for first place for example, you can get about 90,000, which is very good money. Plus you can also increase this with your legend points like I mentioned earlier, the books, perks on your performance parts, and the big one here, if you have a friend, invite them to your crew and you can do these races together and you're going to get a 15% money bonus on top of that. So with some of the bucks perks here and there, the crew bonus, you're going to get about 100,000 in this race if you get first place. Even if you get last place, you barely finish the race, or you don't finish the race at all, you get like 20th place, you're still going to get about 50,000 every 10 minutes, So which is really good money for barely putting in any effort. 
And obviously, as you get more money, better cars, parts, etc., if you're getting top three in these races with the proper bucks bonuses, again, you're going to be getting close to 100,000 every 10 minutes, which is not bad at all. But anyways, guys, there you have it. Those are the two to three best ways of making money in the Crew Motor Fest. I hope this is helpful. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.